It is so nice to be with you again. Again, today I waked up in the morning and the sun hit my bed. It's just wonderful. My bedroom is on the sunny side. And when that's happened, I cannot lie down and turn over. I have to get out. And I went back to the place where I painted the barn once at a time because I met two wonderful horses. And I thought to, today I will show you how we paint a horse. What's wrong with that? We give him a white field, we give him a happy, a happy sky, we give him everything to be happy. And there will be a happy horse, and here I will be a happy artist to paint that almighty horse there. So we fire in that almighty magic, where it was right on our mighty canvas, and there's no mercy. And you know, with, with that feeling, with this beautiful feeling, the sun is there, the day is fresh, <clears throat> and nothing bothers you. That is a good way of living and that's a good way of creating. Creative power can only come that way. Oh, I fire and give the horses. No, horses in my mind. Give them a happy blue sky, a white blue sky. The world is much too beautiful beneath the white blue sky. White blue sky. Let us go into yonder and to yonder and to yonder. What happened there? So, see, let it go right into far, far away. <clears throat> so, here on the outside, I don't have to worry about cleaning my brush. I just fire it in and have a dry brush and hypnotize the canvas. And I will just keep that happy blue sky. Because you must always think you have a happy horse in front of you and Everyone should be happy. We give them a far away, far away field. I will use a touch of sap green. And I will say far away, far away field. Give them all the room they can handle. All the room they can handle. And come closer, 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 closer. See? There's no horizon. There's no horizon that all gets together. The, so I want the horse to have lots of room, lots of room to run, lots of room to run. So there's a beautiful beginning there. And I come closer and start off from here with a green, have a big green field where the horse is happy. And you have to give him all that. I add a bit of black into the Van Dyke, uh, to sap green, and there, there, see, there. And now you go off, go off to yonder, go off to yonder, see. And as you go back, it getting lighter, lighter, lighter. And I will again a touch of yellow. <clears throat> and you just fire off. Give him grass, give him that green, what the horse needs. Always with that almighty horse in your mind. I think horse lovers, they love this kind of a feeling, this way. Don't fence me in, don't fence me in. But I have to make a fence because I feel the horse shouldn't run away. When you let the horse go, horse will go. There's no mercy. See? Into yonder, into yonder, into yonder. Further, further off there. See? Wash your brush. Wash your brush. See, I cre created by, I created the illusion, almighty illusion that goes deep. See here? Oh, clean it again. Clean your brush again. Clean brush does a good job and a dry brush. Clean brush and a dry brush. You know, you just can tape it off to a point where you where you have a nice nice distance. Nice distance. I think I get it now. See, and in front you can have some higher grass. Give him a bit of grass, maybe.
Sí. Sí, we create a kind of a grassy land there. I got the idea all of a sudden. How about we give them a little bit of water? Horses are so nice, they like to have water too. So what we do, we make a little bit of a water pond there. A little bit of a water pond, see, like this. See? There we are. And I have already a little bit of water there. And you, <coughs> you, 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 you put a little board around the water there. See? Bit of a board around the water. See, all the green is on the water side. See? Isn't that wonderful how you can create, how you can... And on this side, on this side I will put a bit more, oh, a bit more green, powerful green on there. On this side, on the water. And see, all of a sudden you have a nice little water pool there. And usually the horse will go down there and has a happy time. If you want, you can give them, you can give them, you can give them a little bit of uh, uh, shoreline there. See how fast you can do that. A little bit of a shoreline. See, now we fire in a happy little horsey. I use a kind of a little brush, a half, a, a half an inch, I would think. And the color of the horse is kind of a brown. I use black and a touch of red. And I mix a kind of a horsey color. And then I will cut my horse. Let the horse drink. How about we let him drink here sideways? He's standing in there and, 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 and his mouth is there. See, his mouth is there. Start off with his head, show you how easy it is to draw a horse. I draw in my mind this time. You don't have a pencil and draw. See a horse, everyone knows the horse face. He has that back there, you know, a little bit of a jar there. <coughs> a bit of a jar. Oh, I say that's the beginning of that head. And he has some happy little ears standing up there. And he has his neck out and See, and then, and then, and then, and then, you give him that happy little, that's his neck, see, there, 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 and you go down there, <coughs> see, how easy it is, and then they have a nice happy little curve, and that, oh, that is so nice, that is so nice, that is so nice, that is so nice, see, he's quite round and has a nice round stomach, has a happy round stomach. Now here you fire in a little bit of, make it a little bit wider, so you can repair a little bit there all the time. See, and then you, you there's a foot coming down there already. See, there's a foot coming down, that's the chest, and, and this here is the almighty shank, See? And then there's the foot, and have that foot in the height of his, uh, of his uh, mouth. See, the mouth is in the water, the foot is in the water, and reflecting right in the water there. Reflecting right in the water there. Reflecting right in the water there. See? And the other foot is just happen behind, like that. See? And 
This is out like that. And he has a happy tail and he's swinging that tail. The fly's bothering him. The fly's bothering him. So he's swinging that tail this time. See? So he's leaning, he's leaning. The other foot comes here. See, we put it this way. Other foot there. And fire him right into the water again. Fire him in right into the water again. And his mouth. See? And all of a sudden, there is a happy little horse standing there. Now, see, horses that can, can be very clump. A work horse, a rice horse, uh, depends on what horse you have in your mind. Uh, this is a happy little horse. See? And now we, we, will, we will give him a kind of a... What looks better is a kind of a bit of white there. See, they have sometimes this kind of a thing. And I will put a little bit of a shadow on there. The muscle movements. Muscle movements. <clears throat> See? See how fast you can get them in? There. And reflects them in the water, what makes it very, very nice. See, here, just, just, let it be dark there. See, then you, you can give him the hair standing up there a little bit. The main, you see there, and make it darker underneath, all darker underneath. Maybe we make him a little bit more of that face there. See, now in the water, see by standing in the water there, I show you what we have to do. We have to make that water move. <clears throat> it's not right. It is not right to have it cold it should move a little bit there you see in the water and <coughs> we will we will do it like this we will do it like this see, when he drinks that water is moving and when he walks in that water is moving there <coughs> isn't that wonderful <coughs> put a bit of life around him and this foot is still in the water and it's moving around there too. It's moving there too. Can you see how you cut animals in? I was asked so often to paint animals, but I never got the time for that. But today, having the horses right in front of me is always nice. At least you, you see them and then... Uh, it's nice when you can see the animals. But what I want to tell you, if you have to paint animals, bear, deer, elk, moose, you know what I usually do? I buy a wildlife magazine. I'm sorry to say that because, and then when you see an animal, it's hard to go in the bush and find a bear. You might never meet them. You know bears are there, but to meet them is it's very difficult. But what I do usually, I move the, the, the foots around, you know, like uh, uh, a bear, if he stands this way, you can easy, easy lift up that one paw and put it on top of a stub. Or you make him standing up <clears throat> and making bear claws on the tree. You see, all those things you can, you can do if you are a creator, you are, you are an artist. You have to create illusions, we have to make it happen. See, and, 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 and if you can't do it, you should play piano. <laughs> you shouldn't paint. 
because I think it is very simple. I hope if you watch me in the future, I want to get in more to animals too. And uh, I think you will learn a lot. <clears throat> so I will go on with my almighty little horsey. And you see, as a sample here, uh, if you, you goof sometime, I would say, this, this is not, uh, see, this foot, or, or this is too, too uh, watch. You just move, move it away a little bit. You see? Can you see? See? How you move uh, the background. See? And then dab dabble it in so you won't even see what's happened there. See, you can correct. I think that's what we have to do sometimes. But like this seems to be a bit too low. You see, I can easily lift it up a little bit. Can you see what you can do now? Wet and wet. You can remove it, you can add it, and that makes it so easy. See, and then just dabble it in and, and leave it the way you think it should be done. See, here I want to show them that bone movement. Here, that, that this has a kind of a angle there. And here we will... Uh, this is not, no details, it's so far away. The horse is so far away. Uh, see, even here. I goofed on this, this should be a bit lower. See, just move it there and give him that, that twist a bit lower, there. Now you see how easy you can correct. And this is what you would have to do when you paint animals. You would always have to correct sometime. It is most impossible. I paint men on earth right now home and I have a lot of figures and, and uh, animals, trees, all together. And there's always this, I move one, move the other, and put it higher, a bit lower, and fit them in, have them in the same, have the same light, and then everything works good. See, now we will make it darker and then neat there. Depends on what, what neck you want to give them, because uh, there are some horses, they have such a powerful long neck. Then there's other type of a horse, I can't say the names. But they are short, they are work horses, they have clumsy foots, and there's a horse that runs, they have long legs, a little bit longer than the other horses. So you don't have to worry too much. You see, I, I, this horse is, is a kind of a proud son of a gun, you know? So I stretch him out and maybe make him the chest a bit more here. See, and then at the, the, the knee. See, you know, you now we get them coming right. There you are. Just little corrections now what I do. Correct them, correct them. See, and then you can let them disappear in the grass, the foot. See, you can create a kind of a grass there. So this, uh, this you don't have to fiddle around with the hoofs. See? Here, now, show the other side. That's the mother horse. And there's the other little devil running like crazy, shaking his head, shaking his head. That's a baby horse, and you know baby horses. Oh boy, he's firing off. He is firing off. He plays the act, usually that they, uh, they play a little act for you. See what he's doing? He kicks. <laughs> he kicks. The tail is flying. It's not wonderful, and he is just going crazy there in the grass. And the watchful eyes of Mama. Use young horses; they show up. They wants to run. And the hair are flying. Let the hair fly there. 
the tail is flying, the hair is flying. Put the character in, put in whatever you feel. That almighty feeling of, of a little young new life. And horses, they really can be so wonderful. That sunburn is nice fat. It's kicking. See, and this happened in, in that background there. There is a, there's a fence post standing here. There's a fence post standing there. See? And he hits that fence post and and uh, no, no, I would like to slither it a little bit. See, give him that almighty fire, whatever you think. See, that's what makes it so nice. The stomach is a little bit too low, I feel. You see how I correct it? So it's no problem. You can always wipe it out and correct it. Now we will get that face right. As a happy little devil. Happy little devil. See? And in this case, you can have that horse a little bit in the water there. It just reflects a little bit. Because it just happens, it uh, reflects him. And there's something dark there. Oh, the head comes up. See, that becomes life, becomes life and becomes fun. It becomes fun. Okay, and now in the water, move it, move it all a little bit around that big horse and around that small horse. See, now you can put a little bit of happy water lines in to that little water paddle. A bit more movements towards the horse. See, because when a horse steps in the water, the whole water goes, goes a little bit wild. Don't leave it dead. Uh, here. See, now we make kind of a little better shoreline. A little better shoreline. Bit of ochre color I will pull in there. See? Aqua color I will pull in there. <clears throat> See then then you 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 can have some funny fences standing there. I would say here is a big one. Here is close on this side. Make it more interesting. There's a big fence post standing there. See, comparing to the distance to the horse, I would say it would be. See, that we have to learn. We have to know that. There's a certain, certain feeling. See the horse there, the little horse a bit further, even smaller. It is a small horse anyway. And now the fence post here on this side, the horse, use the fence post is the height of a horse. That means I got to make that fence post so much higher. See, and wider. And that's the same when you paint houses and buildings. What I usually do when I paint that, I would always paint a door and I paint people. The people, the size of the people, they have to go through that door, close to the door. But when they come forwards, forwards, they get bigger, bigger, bigger. You know, you take always what you have already and see that in order to do that. Then you cannot fail. Try to learn that. I painted so many animals and horses and uh, different things, but you got to have the per perspective right. That has to be done right, otherwise it, uh, it doesn't make sense. 
here. Maybe we have uh, uh, one fence post here. One fence post here. It is broken down. See, it's on this side. Just to show some kind of a front beginning of, of whatever. And I will, I will, I will highlight it. I will say I highlight it on that side. Highlight it from that side here. Highlight it from that side. See how nice that turns out. Push it a bit, push it a bit longer, a bit further out. So it makes a nice fence. Board. And put in kind of a reddish head on. That looks always good. A little reddish head. Reddish cap. It looks always good. Now underneath, usually where fence posts are, there's grass grows very much, you know. Put put a bit more grass on there. More grass on there. Oh, that's good. See here the same. And that's what it is. What do you think you should do? I think, I think, I just blend in that little bit of horizon line. So you see, like this. Let it go right into the sky. Then we give the horse so much land, so much life, you know, so much, so much distance. And uh, that's all you can, you can really do. A little bit of a highlight here. You see, and a bit of there, a bit of there, and that's it. You see something new, I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching me.